definitely now this stuff is getting a lot more interesting with Sinbad by the minute with these two chapters of Magi. And I have to always, as personally as your host and all that for these Magi reviews and all that, I have to humbly apologize and all that for not doing 317. But I will make it up to you guys right now by doing a double of 317 and 318. What's less than going to talk about 317 a lot is that immediately it was Sinbad kind of going around and all that, like actually going around to see everyone, like, you know, from the country and all that, doing his business propositions as always and interesting enough that like, he's like you know I haven't heard David since that you know then and I guess it's like you know the silent isn't bad for once and all that it's like you know I've got work to do and all that and it's just like immediately you know he's still doing his whole you know journey as per usual and all that like, and like that was kind of interesting where he's like you know oh you know that and hey listen man it's like you know like how is everything and all that it's like you know uh, like I've got to sort some things out and all that it's like you know no don't worry and it's just like remember how he was last time it's like you little kids and all like you don't fucking understand what I'm going to be doing and all that and it's like like, especially, you know, like, with, like, what, how he was acting as well to when he went to the co-empire and all that. And he's saying, you know, I'm a emperor, like, you know, I'm representative of my company, Empress of Kyogoku, and I, uh, it's regarding, you know, the trading negotiation of the, you know, the company and, like, you know, the Sindria and all that. And just saying, you know, this needs, uh, this it has nothing to do with me and all that. I'll leave this to you, Kagobun. And just him just going how childish. And he's saying, you know, what I did was necessary to end the co like civil war and all that. And it's just like, getting under that fucking skin is just like, oh, you fucking, like, like, this guy is like, what he's doing and all that is like, you know, and especially in the rest of the chapter, it's like, I, uh, there's stuff I hate about Sinbad now and all that. It's like, you're starting to see the cracks in the man, but it's like, Especially like with what like uh, rest was happening when he went to go to like like the kingdom of like Sindri and all that, seeing how it's going and all that, and he sees Hinahoho there, and he's like, you know, I it's like you know you're a long way from Imajo, and he's like, yeah, I'm a king now and all that. And these things have been different. He's saying, you know, like and it's like I was in a blink of an eye thanks to these teleportation stuff and all that, and he's like, I've got this shit set up in my kingdom and all that. And it's just like you know what and all that. The only time and all that I've got in my life and all that. The only thing that is my joy now is watching my grandsons and all that, because that's the only thing. And it's just like. And it's like they all gather back and all that because it's like the time of the year where the heroes of the founders of the king, uh, like Kingdom of Sindria, rest. And this was a really nice thing in life, especially if you've been reading the Sinbad manga side by side with this. Personally, I'm not caught up with the Sinbad manga, but I, as far as I've been told and all that, my friend that is caught up and all that, some of the stuff that they've told in this chapter hasn't happened in the Sinbad manga as of yet and all that. But for the first time, you do get to meet some of these characters that are actually kind of very pivotal, very important and all that. Like, you know, Biblika, Hinohoho is like sister, Sahel, which is Dracon's wife. Like, you know, some of this like characters and all that. And we find out some very interesting stuff in this chapter. If you don't know about it, like in the Sinbad manga, like Spartos' brother was the original member that actually took over. He was the one that journeyed and it wasn't Spartos, it says, because like his brother died and all that. And the first kingdom that they had was destroyed by the Parteria Empire, which I I was like, that is something and all that to happen. And like, even when Spartos is mentioning saying like, the only like memories I have now of my brother after I wanted to cry every time coming back here and all that are beautiful memories I shared with him. And I cannot, you know, forgive myself for that and all that. And it's like, you know, you weren't there, Spartos and all that, like going for that. And, and just like, especially when they're saying like the burn corpse or the, you know, the, that expression on that burn corpse and all that. And this is something where it's like, you know, when like everyone was turning around and all that saying like, you know, to Sinbad saying you, you have a alone had devoted yourself to the world in Sindria and it was saying you're the one that did it and it's like when he was trying to like compliment you know like you know Dracon you've done so good in my place and all that and it's saying you know and it's like it was you regardless of what you've always been there and it's proud of you and just like that when they all turn around and they like there saluting him saying we, we ride and die with you Sinbad you know we know you and all that and it's just like and that was the thing where it's like you notice that and it's like the one character that's missing out of there very poorly which you know it kind of spoils you about the Sinbad manga like some of these characters haven't died so but since we haven't seen them for a while so we know about like apparently something's going to happen to you know Hoho's wife we know like especially the princess as well like from the Sinbad manga like something happens to her and when we see especially when like Sinbad is holding a corpse and all that which does look like a female's body and all that and he's crying and all that and it's like it's clearly like uh, her like what's going to be happening like that so like that was something where it's like we kind of knew when, like, when you first seen in Sinbad manga, and I think a lot of people were going to put two and two together, saying, like, what happened to this character? Why are they out there? Surely they'll be in the Sindria kingdom, if anything. And it's like, there you go. That's why, and all that. And I think, like, now it's just kind of, like, confirming. It's like, 
putting two to two together, and I'm very interested where like the Sinbad like uh, manga is going to be going from now on. Like, like I definitely want to see more and more of the Sinbad manga now. I definitely want uh, like after this point, I like, really want to catch up and see what's going on. As far as I know, is that they have wrapped up with Spartos' arc. Like, so I think they've pretty much got most of like the like uh, the Seven Sea Alliance going on right now. But like, I think they're still missing like some people like Pisty, and I think like they're missing a couple other characters like Pivotal Carrots and all that like there. But other than that, it's like I'm really, really like enjoying what they're doing like with this, and especially and all that like this chapter. I'd definitely say 317 is the, like, the better chapter, like out of 318. 318 was very heavy politics wise, but going more and more into 317, like it's just like you can see the like Sinbad is not a perfect person and he's not necessarily a villain. He just happens to be the antagonist and all that, which is like, this thing is like, just because he's the force and all that they're kind of facing and it's now it's moving towards David and definitely as well, like with like going on with Arbor and we don't know exactly what's going on with them and like Sinbad, I still think he's going to be pivotal in any way and all that to the story, whether or not he's going to be fighting Aladdin and all that, whether or not he's going to be possessed again, we still don't know, but like that was like, especially I really love 317 a lot for those main reasons and coming into 318, kind of solidifies a little bit more of that. It's like when they get into the International Alliance, when we see Kyo Yoku and she has a plan going into this alliance, and it's like pretty much and all that, like the mem the members and all that of like the Seven Seas Alliance, which is like uh, we get to see in there, which we get to see like Shark and father there. We get to see Pisty's mother, Spartos's father. Like we get to see Hina Hoho's like a uh, grandfather, tribe leader like that. And it's like, you know, like, oh, we're talking about like Rain and all that, like becoming part of the International Alliance. And it's like, you see there like with Mu, he's like, no, no, I don't know. We don't want to be in here at all and all that. We're refusing to join the Alliance every time. And it's like, we want our, uh, you know, like, we want to be, you know, like, a military, we want all our stuff and all that. This is what we want to have and all that. And it's just like, Sinbad is there, like, sitting on his mighty throne. He's like, I, I wish this world to be at peace and all that. And I hope that you will all join us one day, Rayman and Pine. It's like, we want to preserve our sovereignty, you know? Like, it doesn't care about our war or anything like that and all that. And by the way, it's not like, we pay our taxes and all that, like, more than any other kingdom and all that. And it's like, you get, like, Rayman gets rid of, like, should have this art, like, keeps his army. And it's like... You, and like, so like, even with like Sinbad and all that, he's saying like, pretty much kind of blackmailing in them in slightly in the way he's saying you, you do know if you're going to continue like this and all that, we, we will not hesitate to place like fate, like fatal, like comic like sanctions on the Rame Empire, kind of like ruining their budget. And it's just like what, and then Kyogyoku just comes out with like, by the way, and all that, I've got a guest and all that. It's like, for like, what the hell? And it's just the Kina, like the Kina Kingdom's king, and it's just like you know, sup, motherfuckers, it's my turn to shine. And he just grabs a fucking sea, just slams it to the ground. He's like, "Yo, I, like a long time no see, my boy Sinbad. Let's 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 talk about some shit. Let's let's spread some goodness right now. I just I, I love the king, like the King of Kina. I think he's fucking hilarious because it's like, what kind of baller just comes up with like in there, just slams the shit down the ground. It's like, yo, yo like, 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 fuck, fuck this shit right now. Like, low, like, have I got some stuff? Like, you know, like, I've come to spread some shit like that. And they're like, you know, what about that night? Like, should you be and all that, you know, like, um, some shit having about this and you know like in this and like and you consider the trade and all that like after everything and all that and it's like but you know they like those two are fugitives what about Harker Ryu and he's like you know I've seen him saying by the way and all that and saying you know you have no authority over Harker Ryu in any sense and, like he's outside of the international alliances jurisdiction and all that like the rain the possessions of metal vessels is not a crime and they're saying you know outside of jail like well, what do you mean it's like it's simple we're hereby like exit the international alliance or the co empire exits it and you just see Raim, Kina Kingdom and Kyogyoku with the co empire have got their own little fucking little alliance going on right now and it's like I love that it's like that it's like fuck you we're against the world and like just the Kina King's like shitty and green it's like hey hey fuck you guys like I've got my boys here I've got my girl I've got my Kyogyoku here I've got Moon all that the final it's like 
we, we ain't taking your shit. Like, we ain't taking none of the shit you're saying and all that. Like, and it's just like, oh, like we're leaving the Seven Sea Alliance and fuck you. Like, that's all we're going to do. And it's like, and we know exactly what the consequences are. We're going to lose the import taxes and all that. And, you know, the war, like, represent also as well. We're no longer, like, to be able to use, like, the uh, Seven Sea Alliance as a shield to hide behind. And so we'll have to atone for all the things that we've con like, all the countries we've conquered in the past. And it's like, like and I've given some thought about this. And it's like, you know, the co Empire continues benefiting at least the Seven Sea Alliance states and all that, but there will be no pride in all that. So we are unable to tell our grandchildren that we espouse our laws, confronted our past, and search for a new way to live of our own accord and all that. And it's like, that's kind of why we're doing that. And it's like, you know, we're not going to promote slavery, but we will compensate its former colonies and avoid any more wars. And I do not wish to just reluctantly follow orders of the, of the Alliance of its own accord for so, you know, that would be res like not like seeing our responsibilities. We're not just hiding. It's just like, is this like a lot of people saying, is this really the same girl that we saw all that time when she was like freaking out and going, she used me and all that. I hate that man. And it's saying like, I want to build a country I can take pride in with my own eyes, you know, with these own hands of mine, Sinbad, and it's, that's why I want to forgive you on my own volition, like, you know, I, I want to do that on my own thing, not being forced to forgive you or anything, or trying to be goody-goody with each other, and the fact that, like, Coe's, like, so the war was ended thanks to your efforts, and, like, you, and saying, you are a great man, you create the peaceful world and all that, you know, Sinbad, that peace exists because of you. Thank you. You are like, yeah, and it's like, that's the thing when you like, Sinbad's like, the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, he's there like, hmm? <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Like, like, so, you don't hate me, but you gotta let it go. And it's like, that's the thing where it's interesting, where it's like, just Sinbad is just so, like, his feathers are so ruffled there. He's like, oh, okay, okay like going into that so it's like I definitely am very much looking forward to seeing like where this is going exactly like a lot more where mainly the date like the day this stuff is the most interesting stuff right now about that but it kind of added a little bit more it's that do you hate Simba like like a guy that is not a goody two shoes but he's just so bent struck and all that of saying my way is the best way to sort everything out like and he's now seeing things and this I feel like is definitely gonna crumble the Seven Seas Alliance a lot I think a lot of people are gonna have a lot of doubt and it's like we can kind of handle our own shit on our own now like let and it's like that's the thing where it's like the International Alliance is definitely a good thing it helps people but what Kyokyoku like Mu and what the King Akina just did right now is like we we can handle ourselves. We can do it by ourselves. We don't need you fucking breastfeeding us the entire way and that we know that we fucked up and just letting us hide behind you is not just gonna get rid of everything and make peace and all that. We've got to do that by ourselves. And I think that's the thing it's trying to teach you, I think, in this chat these chapters as well, is that never forget your past. That was especially with Sinbad and especially with Kyokyoku in this one. Don't hide behind your past and all that. You've got to confront it and you've got to accept it. And both of them have done that. And it's like Sinbad realized that as like, you know, as like his, all the people like from the Seven Seas, like, you know, his like the soldiers and all that were telling him, it's like, you know, we love you, man. You've done everything for us and all that. But, you know, this is something we've always got to keep doing. And the same thing can be said for this chapter as well, where it's like Kyokyoku's taking her stand and now shows how much she's from that little girl that was like fucking going I want to kill everything and fuck you Sinbad and it's like mm, Sinbad can't like she's flip flopping all that and like I want to kill Sinbad and now like because she like he betrayed me and he's like he manipulating me and it's like letting go of that anger and that frustration but still I gotta find it on my own way and I like, kind of appreciate that about the chapter so I definitely liked it I will say 318 was a lot weaker than 317 I think 317 was fantastic I really loved that one and just gave us a lot of stuff about the Sinbad manga that we don't know about yet and the stuff to come and all that. I'm looking forward to that. And it really makes me want to read this stuff now. I know, like, people keep saying Sinbad manga is really good and I take that to, like, heart and all that. I bet that is really goddamn good and all that. I've only just read so little of it and it's like, when you've got the anime out there as well, it's like, oh, I need to watch the anime as well. It's like, oh, there's so much Mikey content out there at the moment. So, really looking forward to where, like, 
319 is especially going to be going with this and all that, and also as well with much sort of stuff and all that. But that's all for me, though. Thank you much for watching, always. Let me know what you guys think talk about these two Magi chapters down below. I love talking about this stuff and all that. It's great to have, like, just have some great conversation about Magi again. I've been able to talk about that with friends and all that. They're now caught up, and it's just so great and all that to have that now. That I have a lot more Magi discussions in my life and all that, and it's like helping because it's like this was the only way for me to get out Magi like content and all that, and it now helps and all that. Like, I've got multiple people like reading the series like that now call back up to it and like just on that stuff so it really helps and all that like uh, talking about a lot of it and seeing a lot of different perspectives on it and all that and I think this is a great like, these two chapters as well seeing like like Kyo like Kyogoku's perspective and then, then Sinbad's especially last chapter like, with Freya 17 and all that his perspective on everything and it's like that was kind of really good and all that and I really liked it about that but that's all for me so I will see you beautiful bastards though next time